Everybody, I hope we're all good, hope we're all well. Welcome to Grand's Hatch. Lovely circuit. A classic British touring car circuit. I'm sure there's been a couple of Formula One Grand Prix here as well at some point. But uh touring car is, is where I know this track mostly from especially from Toka 2 got Bosch Jan already in here we have Sander already in here Sander's uh, been here since the start of the session getting a few of the laps in I just need to very quickly get a setup or two downloaded massive thank you to Magnet for pulling up with me oh I just realized you put go faster in your reply you know what you're not getting your shadow anymore uh, thank you so much six months as a member of the channel just to remind anyone watching now if you uh check out the join button underneath the streams the videos you can become a channel member this gives you access to a couple of remotes plus it's uh one of the many ways you can uh help support me and my semi interesting career at sim racing but we already have eight people in here. You lot are crazy. Thank you. Whether you're watching, commenting, lurking, whatever you want to do. Make sure you do, though, however, hit that thumbs up button down the bottom. 
more thumbs ups that the channel has and that the uh, videos have, the more it spreads out to other people, which could potentially be even more amazing people such as yourselves joining the channel, having conversations, getting in the Discord, joining us for the custom races and everything else that we do on Twitch as well, which I think is only a plus, right? So I'm just quickly getting, I'm using Craig setup shop this week, as I always use. So I'm just getting that all loaded up. Oh, I've seen Boss Jan's message. Get into that. Oh, it's Honda Civic Brands Hatch. Let's get those downloaded in. Lock, good to see you, man. Good day, Mr. Salesman Jay. <laughs> I have also added whenever you, anyone's watching a premiere or the live streams the merch command, so feel free to use that. Massive thank you to everybody who on Saturday just came in clutch and brought a few things. I don't think I have that merch alert on the YouTube side of things, but thank you, thank you, thank you. In fact, I'm gonna let's see if it does work. Actually, I can't see if it works, but I can definitely get the browser source for it. No, because it's on a different profile. Not to worry, not to worry. There we go. Uh, go fast mate. Wow, I won't be buying not even with a free 75 piece knife set that comes free with it But for four dollars ninety nine, that's right four dollars ninety nine. You also get this handy book Camera Sutra. I don't even know what that is, but Right Brands hatch Looking uh, you don't can't see it, but I have done so many races on this track. So I should be quick, right? Wrong. What's going to happen is it's going to be a rough couple of laps, I think. I might need to change my field of view because I did change it for the oval racing. Speaking of oval racing, this Saturday on Twitch, there might not be an IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge, but there will be Daytona 500, which I'm very excited for. Uh, let's see, that's all on there. That's there. And also just to let people know, there may not be a stream this Sunday on Twitch. Just mainly due to the fact I'm going out to see some friends uh, that I've only seen a couple of times since I left school. So, forgive me on that, but I haven't seen these, some of these people for about a year. So, yeah, I've decided to do that on Sunday. If there is a stream on Sunday, it'll be ultra, ultra early. Elephant map. Oh yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> but Brands Hatch is an interesting one. On the UKSR channel, on the Enduro series, I uh, I did that with the touring cars. I've done various videos on this channel for Brands Hatch. In fact, my last one that I remember was uh, a bit... <laughs> A bit all over the place. I got knocked off the track along with a few other people and had to fight my way through everybody all over again. And it was a little bit similar to MagniCore, but back when the grids were about 30 cars big. Could really attack the course. Oh yeah, there's, there's definitely parts of this you can jump over, cut. And in these front wheel drive cars, it's really good close competitive racing, 100%. Is that all? I haven't seen my family about four years now. Lucky you. Mine can get a bit much sometimes and I have very little escape from them sometimes. Especially on the phone. Ah, uh, this is going to be a very rough practice session, I think, especially with the tyre model. And I didn't mean lucky you as in they're horrible, I bet they're lovely, lovely people. Like I said, I just can't seem to escape mine sometimes. <laughs> ah! Right, this is going to be... A very interesting 
practice session, I think. Or so does the player. Nice. So you were the one who flew out of the nest, right? Into the big world? Or did everyone just move somewhere else together? <laughs> Don't have to say, of course, but... I like my peace and quiet. I get that. So we're just going to try and get out one or two banker laps in. Just let the tyres really heat up. Just try and remember how to take some of these corners into a better race, hopefully. As long as I'm learning. I don't care if a practice session ends up being an absolute pigsty. As long as I'm learning and, yeah, it makes the races better, then it's... An hour and a half, well spent with you lot on a Monday stream on YouTube. So yeah, it's going to be a messy first couple of laps away from Australia. That's quite some distance. <laughs> I hope everybody else is having a, a great start of their week. It's probably about midday for some of you watching this now as we stream this at uh, 5 o'clock my time. And for others it's a little bit later on in the night. And then for bonus people, even earlier in the day. I'm turning far too early for that corner. So this was the part of the track where on my last race here um, on YouTube I got taken out. Right, so my optimal so far is a 133 but that's going to be much quicker once I start actually like concentrating and getting some decent laps in. I think next lap we can try and push it a little bit harder. So Boschan already on a 134. Boschan will probably get a 132, 131. Like uh, you said, like you can really attack the course on some of these corners. Some watch some uh, highlights from the Bray match. How uh, Manable Claw works. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> underneath your tongue. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't understand the people who didn't like the show. It was a really good, solid show. I, I, I don't get there. The unneeded hate behind it. Here we go, so far all greens on the sectors. That should hopefully be in the one thirty threes. Wide, but it was a quickish slap, so I'm happy with that. Oh, I'm always biased about Royal Rumbles because I love WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-views. Uh, they've, they've always been my favourite favourite event by far. And I would pay any amount of money to see one in the UK. True, a magnet, but that's uh, internet wrestling fans for you. But anyway, 
racing wise if uh, you haven't already check out just type in LMP2 finish Daytona 24 hour bear in mind 24 hour race how close the LMP2 finish was actually insane all right gutting for one of the teams but for the other one it literally that that finish will be remembered for ages the track where you can go into attack mode i what i like about this track is the nostalgia that it brings to me i, I get a lot of nostalgia from this track here we go bosch in the 132s Probably went into third gear a bit too early there. Ooh, wow, that wasn't an off track, I don't know. Slowly getting faster and faster. Fish was heartbreaking, Pete. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I'm getting a bit too close for comfort with some of these off tracks. Like this, this track has a lot of weird corners and. You have to be really prepared for them sometimes. Like that one. That that last corner just says one I can never never really get right to be honest. I'm never satisfied with how I exit out of that corner. That's a much better corner there though. So put this lap's gonna be even quicker. Not a great corner there, but... Getting some quick... Quick spurts of uh, speed from here, which is pretty good. And our exits have some corners are getting better as you can see by the time at the top. Fra it's only fractional and a lot some of it could be fuel, but it's it's good. Right, that one wasn't so great, that was a pure not as good exit. That was much better though, that's the best I've taken that corner. You can tell, see that straight away in the time at the top. So my time's uh, best optimal sector of all time, but my all time got deleted so this is technically my all time now in this session, so it's best of the session. Let's just go a bit tighter this time and that seems to work alright. I can just grab a little bit of sand. But not too much. Going first gear towards the end of that corner seems to be helping me out slightly. Can cut a little bit of that. I can take quite a lot of the exit there. I did lose a little bit of time, so. Not great exit out of there, though. Hey, Dark F1, how are we? Time call here is the one that gets me. I find as long as you're not completely letting off, or you just go, well, you can completely let off the pedal, but you got to sort of uh, keep keep something on it just to keep the turbo running, uh, and that sort of helps me a lot with the corner exits. Like you see on the telemetry just there. 
now that I'm doing it and concentrating on doing it, it's making me quicker. I wasn't talking about it before because I wasn't doing it. And now that I'm actually doing it... And knowing that my RPM is about 6800. Rubbish corner there. But that's my quickest shot. I got into the 132s. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's that's really good. I'm uh yeah, no, I'm that's I wasn't expecting to get into the 32s already. I can't remember what my quickest lap here was the last time I was doing this race on YouTube. So I'm waiting until about 67, late 6700s on the RPM. This could be a really tricky corner as well. Uh, probably most trickiest if you have someone attempting to dive at your inside. Like that can really mess up your your exit on that one. when going uphill I try and uh, stay on the gear a little bit longer I know I'm gonna get pushed out there but it's worth it I don't think that's gonna be my quickest lap yet no first corner really let me down the first two three laps you're gonna get a lot of people skidding on there I remember when I used to race skip barbers exclusively that first corner Using so many competitors there. Uh. Oh, got a few people uh, jumping in. A few names I haven't really seen that much, to be honest. So, uh, just to let people know this is a free session. Uh, free as in, just go to your hosted, look for Brands Hatch. You'll see my uh, driver's name on there, which, by the way, if anyone ever does want to, like, chuck on a friend request or whatever, you're more welcome to. I do accept most of them on iRacing. And, uh, yeah, just jump in, no password. Just make sure you got the track and you got a touring car. And just, uh, yeah, it's, this is a good session to test your own setups on. Or uh, if you just want to learn from the big boys in here how they're doing their corners. No worries, Kevin. However, I do seem to be the only Honda in here at the moment, so... Leuf. Miko's uh, much quicker than me. Hey, Emerson's in here. Good stuff. In. Be a better exit out of there, much better exit. Sometimes with some of these corners with front wheel drive, you just don't. You can go slower into the corner to give yourself a better line out, and sometimes it's the line out which is going to give you all the pace. Be used to it if one of if not the only Honda by now. I don't know when it's Road Atlanta that uh that goes and I'm not I, I don't even touch the when it's Road Atlanta I don't even touch the Honda. I, I can't touch the Honda. There we go, I'm sort of throwing the car into the corner there. Oh, that was a push. There we go. We're actually pushing it a bit harder now. Could be my quickest lap yet. 
It is. Nearly hitting the 132.5s. And you know what? If we do end up hitting that, I would be very happy. Hey, we're gonna finally get a sub again. Look forward to it if you do, man. I look forward to it. Those who have not subbed to iRacing at all, though, and you're thinking about subbing to iRacing, if you did want a referral link, there is one underneath in the video description. Feel free to use it. Any proceeds that I get towards uh, referral fees and stuff like that pretty much go straight back into sessions like this. Same with any anyone who joins the channel via a channel subscription on here or Twitch. A lot of the time, it goes straight back into the streams. I'm not that big time yet that I can uh, pay off my mortgage with it. This is not going to be one of my better laps, but uh, let's see, this is a nightmare situation. That there, it, if that ends up happening during the race and I go too wide there, then I'm pretty much accidentally killing people. <laughs> braking is shocking. Uh, we need to work out how braking is done. If you can try and get your pedal set so that you're not hitting that 100% braking, that will help you with a lot of the cars on this circuit, on um, this service, with service, because oh, tends to get the Hyundai out all over again. It's a uh, Brands Hatch this week, and the weekend has the two-hour IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge, which is a multi-class with a GT4, which. I, I have a feeling it's not going to be nice around here at all. How are we doing today, Loki? Hope you're good, mate. Yeah, one, one of my biggest weaknesses is going all the way down on the brake pedal, like uh, 100%. Since so it's activating the ABS, sometimes it means that... Uh, it, it just really messes up my corner entry and in the middle of it, which in turn makes me slow around the exits. I've been slowly getting better. It's still not at the level I want it at yet, especially if I'm at 2. Point bloody, what am I now? 2.7k. It's, uh. <laughs> I'm starting to get trounced quite a bit in some sessions. <laughs> Now that I'm uh, going up to the top splits, but that, that's fine. Speaking of getting trounced, this Friday is the SRL League. Uh, where are they this week? They are at... I think they're actually at Magni Core, which... After all the bitching I did about Magni Core last week, not looking forward to. I have to learn how trail braking works. Luckily, there's people who can explain it a lot better than me with video guides on the internet. Just... Not dragging the wheel out for this. I'm satisfied enough playing the setup. Playing the setup on the, co on the uh, controller. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I did see your, your tweet about how much you were playing the seto. Is good a seto. I, I should have... I should have carried on with uh, the career mode. Uh, that I started doing, but to be honest, with um, low fuel motorsports LFM, I might just try and if I ever do with Seto, if I go back to it, I might as well just do that because then at least it's always going to have people in it, and loads of people are, are rating it for R Factor 2, which I should really do more R Factor 2 as well, but yeah. Going for pole race two again. I do not want to finish 20th and start a race here. But I do have really good battles with people on this circuit. I think uh, we, we might see a name pop up in um, in practice today. Um, if we see El, El Neil, he loves this track. He's part of the... Uh, he does. I think he does the World Touring Car. 
which I couldn't unfortunately get into because I couldn't do it in a team. No worries, Salva. Yeah, he he was uh, the guy I was battling with for the first two laps in the Enduro on the UKSR channel. And he, he's definitely one to watch for if uh, he ends up coming into this practice or he shows up in my session during tomorrow's recording. But, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely someone who I, I need to learn from with certain lines and how to break on this circuit as well. Zolder with a Honda. Zolder with a Honda NSX. Yo, Zolder was actually... <laughs> funny you mentioned that car and that combo that was as far as I got with the recording and Zolder is is a funny track some certain cars I hate it I can't stand it GT3s apart from a I think it's the first chicane first chicane's a pain because of the banking of the curbs but the second chicane I actually don't mind as much as other people probably hate it like you gotta break so early for it it's so tight but no, Zolder is a lot of fun. I could look into getting a more comfortable chair seat. The gaming chair I have isn't exactly comfortable enough. Uh, that'd be the only way to get me back on iRacing. As in a proper cockpit seat or... That's something I haven't even attempted to look at for when I move and get get more space. I'm actually looking at getting new monitors. Right, I was going to get the one big one, but an opportunity is... Oh, a yellow flag. It's been ages since... Ah, right, okay. Sounds like hanging out just there. But yeah, um, NSX GT3 was my car of choice in the career for um, Seto Corsa ACC no just a decently padded seat fair enough man in terms of those sorts of chairs I don't know what everyone else is using for uh, for racing because everyone else uses proper um, I literally just said the word cockpit seats and yeah, so I don't know if it's like GT Omegas or something similar to that style. Chino is actually a folding deck chair. Oh my god. You know what, you're not the only person I've heard who's uh, said they, they use a, uh, a deck chair. I mean, if you think about it, the angle's right for it. <laughs> don't ask me what I use. I didn't want to jump into a Merkel McLaren on ACC, I want it to be different so far. Only Honda on the grid. Have you been doing the um, LFM stuff at all, Loki? The angle's perfect. It, it makes sense, the lowness. Right, so the last three, four laps, I've kind of been just chugging along at my own pace, not really concentrating on lap times. It looks like I'm uh, getting the 134s, which isn't great. No worries, guys. Thanks for joining. Got to get the plug in. <laughs> Got to get the plug in. Just career going, man, to get used to the game. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, Zolder is the first first track, right? Or is it random for everybody? My, my first one after doing um, tutorial stuff at Monza was Zolder after that. So. What, what I find confusing about ACC though is the in-car like sorted out. Uh, excuse me. 
pit boxes, uh, pits and stuff like that. I, I need to have another look at it and actually concentrate on what I'm doing with it. Maybe find a way to map some buttons on Stream Deck. How's the stall treating you? <laughs> stall. <laughs> It's all of them brands hatch afterwards. Monza, yeah, yeah, mine were, mine's Monza as well. It must be Monza for everybody then. I just didn't know if the career mode was randomised for people, which would be pretty cool, to be honest. Right, next lap, we'll, uh, we'll give, uh, we'll get concentrating on a lap, see if we can get into that one mile at night 132.6 okay as long as I haven't cut the tires on those last two two laps Go a little bit wider just so we get more course before we cross the line Trail breaking in there. Nailed that, but the exit wasn't so great. Just before the 50, getting to second. Halfway through the corner, first. Use those revs to. Oh, I did it too early. Way too early. I deserve that. I've got Sander seven seconds behind. There we go. Yep. So damage is off, as always, on the practice sessions. So that makes it a. Uh, It'll be easier in terms of keeping the tyres warm because you're not constantly going back to the pits. Randomised career mode, that sucks because I'd no doubt get stuff like Monaco and Powers my tracks. No mo no Monaco on a ACC as far as I know that. I don't think many people would race Monaco at all on ACC. I definitely would try and avoid it like the plague. It's, it's not a great track. Uh, Pal, where's where's Pal? That that rings a bell. Where's Pal? See, when you said Pal, I thought you meant Sao Paulo. Uh, into Lagos, but you would have said into Lagos if that's the case. Pal. Or Baku. Yeah, no, Monaco, not not a great circuit. It, if it's good for Formula Two and it's good for Formula Three because the cars are smaller, but for F1, it, it's out outlived its use really in a racing point of view. Detest Baku. No, not into Lagos. Into Lagos is amazing, by the way. God tier track for most series. I'm struggling here. France, it was on the World Touring Cars Canada years ago. I think it was used for World Touring Car Racing this year. Okay. Why does the name ring a bell? It's not a street circuit, is it? Where all the big sort of crashes happen that... No, 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 no. Different part of the world, that course. Uh, I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, speaking of touring cars, I really want to go to a, uh, a British Touring Cars event this year. Probably, probably will be Silverstone. I think it was... It is Street Circuit. They have the F3 and Touring Car LGP every year. Oh, it is! Wait, let me just get onto a... Hmm... I'm just experimenting with some corners at the moment. Brake seems to be a lot more warmed up, so I might need to actually change my braking point there.
we out of the pits and uh, right on the racing line. Oh god. Take care, Sander. Have a great rest of your Monday. One of the races to win in uh, F3. And Macau. Right, Macau. That's the one with loads of street accents, isn't it? That's, that's the name I recognise. Uh, I think it's Porsche. Porsche Cup or GT3 or something like that. And it had a horrendous accident after a corner that wiped out pretty much all the grid apart from the two cars at the front that weren't part of the accident. Chicanes were terrifying. There's also a uh, Australian street circuit. I saw a, a replay from the Australian supercars and it was a chicane there as well that just absolutely obliterated the car. And because of the line and... Um, how tight the following corner was from there just the pileup <laughs> the pileup just had all the VH just all over the place yeah that, that was the kind of semi-viral one right where it just has the camera just looking straight at the corner and you just see it's looking at the exit of the corner and all the cars just going around the exit of that corner and it's just a beautiful mess similar to like Spa 99 in the rain, just like you're just watching the terror and you can't look away. Adelaide, okay, I don't know, I don't know which which track it was off the top of my head. It looks, it looked like an Australian version of. Long Beach and Belle Isle. Right, let's practice those pit entries. Right, so the service road to the right just before that start breaking. <sighs> yeah, I'm just not sure how I'm going to do Saturday with a Daytona 500 on. If there's an early Daytona 500, then I need to see how early it is. Try and do Mission Pilot Challenge afterwards. But at the same time, I don't want to be streaming too late. Because I might be doing an early Sunday stream. Because I'm off to see some people Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to see some dates and have a look at that. So far though, we somehow find ourselves in third I rating wise with uh, how everybody else's times are we're we're punching above our weight though we are seven tenths behind Kevin in first place so I could be quicker I could definitely be quicker only Honda though still Uh, Gold Coast has some savage, savage chicanes. Adelaide and Gold Coast are two of the best street courses in the world, but also very unforgiving. So I love street courses like that. That's why I like Belle Isle so much. I find Belle Isle is a much more, much more dangerous track than Long Beach, but maybe that's just because Belle Isle has claimed me more times than Long Beach ever has. What do you mean the Gold Coast 500 from last year? 11 car pileup. Maybe. I think the highlights package I saw from the supercars was a C, like a yearly like crashes of the year sort of thing where two of the cars were on fire or were smoking real real bad uh, right, request new car we'll do one more run on this set and to be honest the fact that we've hit a 132.6 I just want to very quickly See if I can find my lap time from last season. Should be on here somewhere. Uh, what am I looking for? 
for iRacing, Touring Cars, Brands Hatch. Hey, the stream comes up first. 13 watching, you're crazy. You're all crazy. Oh, when it comes to setup shops, what is the Honda getting for their setup shop? Honda comeback. Why is it not coming up with my race from last year? Is it because I'll put touring cars and not touring car? Is it going to be that finickety with me? It is. It actually is. <laughs> so, my quickest lap from that was once the advert on the start of my videos god who monetizes their content like that i'll be able to have a look at this at the end all right let's have a look so my top lap from last season was my god, I've even got my bloody quality settings down low. <laughs> Not doing myself a good service here, am I? Let's put it back at uh, 40 seconds. So this will include uh, drafts, but it looks like my quickest time last season was a 134. Must have been a warmer track. Must have been a much warmer track. Qualifying time was... I didn't even do a qualifying time last season. Well, that helps me. So, if that is truly my quickest lap round here is like a 133, 134. Now, I've already beaten it without a slipstream. So, that's one, one box ticked for this. However... We've got coming out of the pits. Oh, go and wait here for someone to come past because. It is such a horrible, horrible pit to come out of. So it's just as bad as Donington. Donington and Brands Hatch are amongst two of the worst courses for pit lane exits. They, they thrust you straight into the first corner without a care in the world. I'd say knock, knock Hill is a little bit similar to Donington's as well. But Knock Hill is a really quick circuit all over anyway. Still the best TCR circuit in my opinion, Knock Hill. Uh, watch the video of it. Gold Coast track. One car got it wrong. Mitch Kane got launched over the curb. Clipped the tyres and all hell broke loose at 150 kilometres an hour. That sounds like the one. Gonna take two free laps for me to get up to temperature. I'm actually shocked that Miko hasn't beaten my time yet. He will eventually. Bye, have a great time. Bye, have a wonderful time. Right, fourth by that first white line. See, that's fine. That's not an off track, so I can uh, live safe in the knowledge that I can use that. Still got cold tyres at the moment. Uh. do we have here? So there's a great en entry into the corner. 
saw at the top of the screen where the time was that the time was going down but because I went so quick into the corner I couldn't really uh, get a good hold on the exit and, and finding finding the balance between being quick into the corner but giving myself enough chance to get a really good exit out of it that, that's one of the things I've had to try and work on a little bit more with varying results I've found right, I want to hit this 3k before the end of the season next season I've, I feel next season no matter what we're going to try and uh, be a bit more varied with the videos that I put out I'll still try and put a uh, torn cast stuff out most weeks but for the secondary videos I want to start sort of delving into different different territories unless a new touring car comes out if somehow a new touring car comes out then that's going to completely change my perspective on everything <laughs> you know hey Emerson how are we actually rage quit you rage quit really which bit of the track are you uh Struggling on my friend. This is a great, this is a really fun. Sh so, how you've rage quit this one, but Mount Panorama, you were fine, you were okay with that. All of it. <laughs> Rain is still coming. <laughs> no worries, Joe. This, this is a really good fun track that you can you can really attack in places as a uh, lock puts it there's awkward balance of trying to lose the rear through a corner if you fail you understeer off okay what what setup are you using just out of interest I mean the time that you're doing were the times that I was doing last season if you watch my my previous Grand Hatch video, you'll find uh, you, you'll see how I did on that one, and that was a fight back against uh, a few people. But on this one, it's uh, just got to know which corners you can cut. You can cut that corner. You can go wide on that one. Cut a little bit of this one. It, it's a roller coaster of a ride. This track. Through that middle section. Craig's. Yeah, that's what I'm using at the moment. I'm using Craig's. Right, let's make this one a good lap. Well, look what everyone else is using. <laughs> Everyone's using the Hyundai this week, it seems. have to be very 
very careful but really throw the car about throwing the car about is allowed just throw it in there this track was made for touring cars That's a 133.8. Can use a lot of that, no problems. Nope, completely free. I, I try and keep these. I try and keep all these as easy as possible to get in for everybody. I won't. Uh, I will never gatekeep these sessions. My my aim with this channel and what I do with these sessions as well is to get as many people racing touring cars as possible. I do believe they are one of the best best series on the whole service. And if I can help people. By keeping these sessions open. Oh, you. Oh, I was about to say that's not an off track. If I can keep these sessions open and it helps people decide to drive a touring car, which keeps the sessions populated and occupied, then a major win. So, yeah, no, no password. Just jump in. It's open setup. The temperatures are as close as possible to what I'm getting when I do test sessions here privately. So, hopefully, they will be the best temperatures and humidities for you to get prepared for your own races fixed sessions temperatures are different and they might be different for the Michelin pilot challenge over the weekend but for open races I got you uh, yeah yeah good point mm. just uh, if you know just take your time with this circuit if you're new to it And just slowly get quicker and quicker as laps go by. It does take about three laps for tyres to warm up here, I find. Uh, 133.1. I think I've already done my best lap of the session, so we'll, we'll, we'll go through this. Uh, we've got 15 more laps we've got to do. There's, there's no damage in these sessions either, Mark. So if you do end up putting it into a wall, just reverse out the wall, give it five seconds, and your car should be good as new. I can't promise that your tyres will be the same afterwards, though. Yeah, I I wish that was possible as well. Like, just delete your delete your entry or something like that. And let you do another car. Yeah, not, not too bad so far, uh, bitch, I find. I can't seem to get back to that 132. I had one good lap with no no slipstream or anything. But yeah, no, Bosch Jan and uh, Kevin have been absolutely king, killing it. Right, keep on fourth. Oh, I've lost way too much time there. Sort of experimenting with what to do in certain corners. I haven't watched anyone else's lap just yet. I probably should. Yeah, you can even go that far off on that corner and it's still not an off track, so this is a tricky corner though. You have to really give yourself a, a late apex and try and keep the car as straight as you can with the exit. It's worth practicing on this course as well, taking the outside line, because you'll get a lot of people trying to pass you there in the uh, lower splits, or maybe even the higher ones if uh, if you get bullied a lot like me. Pushing a bit too hard.
Got a great exit out of there. We'll keep nice and wide. We'll try again. Just keep doing laps and laps and laps and laps of this circuit. This is a... I'm just trying to sort of teach myself to just casually do this course. If I lose concentration now, at least I know that my muscle memory for this circuit's going to come into play and I'm still going to do okay-ish laps. That was a good exit for some reason. <laughs> Who bullies you? Everyone bullies me. I only go into second gear on that corner because it's uphill. And I just feel the extra revs help me get up that hill a little bit quicker. Pushing two out again. This is though a nasty track for off tracks. Oh, I need to probably uh, remind people. Uh, just as a reminder to people, damage is off. So if you do end up going off the track, you can just wait for five seconds and your car will be automatically repaired. So you get more laps done and less time in the pits. Quite a few people just jumping out the cars after crashing that I've seen so far. Oh, I'm taking too much. See, I'm taking too much speed into that corner, which is just um. Setting me outside for understeer a little bit, a little bit more. As it stands, still the only uh, Honda Civic driver. This, this track is literally about to become the Hyundai Cup again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the Honda's too bad here. That was a great corner. That was a much better corner. I delayed going down on the fourth just for that corner, and it seems to be and it seems to work all right for me. Okay. Slightly different timings to going down gears. Seems to be working out okay with corner entry. It's just the exit I still need to get used to with a few of these. But racing this really makes me want to play Toka 2 again. That's better. Just a little bit more delayed on pedal okay, we're getting close to our optimals our optimal time and our best time only has a four tenths of a second gap between it, which is one of the shorter gaps I've had for timings in a while. There we go. Yeah, so entering that corner in fifth and going to fourth halfway through it seems to be doing the trick. Now when I'm just sort of slowing down a little bit more so I can accelerate more from the exit. It's actually made that an even quicker set to... Uh, Ooh, and he lost it there. That was close. <laughs> Still on for a quick clap as long as we can nail this final corner. Maybe a bit soon on the accelerator. That is a shame. Oh, that should put me in the 32s. It puts me in the 32s, which I haven't been in the 32s for a couple of laps now.
literally in first gear for less than a second just to get a nice uh, nice boost out of that corner but not too much that's going to throw me too far wide needs to work on my line through that one just catch the throttle as I'm shifting down to second need to work on that one as well because it's a slower exit out of there it's getting fifth halfway through fourth not as quick as last time on the exit but quick on the entry Ooh, I sink caught the sand there I don't know how that wasn't an off track in all honesty but at the same time I'm not going to argue with it either that last corner just then you can take a bit quicker than you expect just because of the camber of the corner it does help you through it <sighs> 10 laps slow down a bit too much halfway through there I, I need to I'm going to try climbing down a little bit through that corner but at the end of uh, the stream we will go over to the quickest time of the session so far we'll put it onto the cockpit view so those who do want to study the fastest person in the session you can maybe hit that apex a little bit more effectively much better that's a perfect corner to me even though it's a tenth slower I'm much more comfortable taking the corner like that Maybe put a bit too much into there. Shit. <laughs> Sorry for the strong language there, kiddos. Oh wow, I wasn't even taking that corner seriously. Look how many. A lot of green just there. Someone coming up behind me, so I'll let them through. coming up as well it's Miko it just start turns that corner then we'll speed up two seconds yeah no chance I'll get a slipstream off them then eight laps or over about halfway through the course so it might be a bit uh Yes, but in the meantime, we'll just practice on the lines that we take. Side. 
bit more speed. We can stop him there. Too much speed into the corner. Uh, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Every time we mess up on the lap, we'll just work on practicing the rest of the track till we try again. To see what works on the telemetry at the top. A bit of fighting up front. Turn to fourth a bit too early there. Nearly. <laughs> Better exit out that corner, as you can tell from the top. So you're not breaking a hundred percent. Low isn't the quickest I've gone through, has been the safest I've gone through and the most comfortable I've gone through. I can use the outside there. Use as much of the track as you bought the track, use all the track. I could have done that so much better. Once again, gone too early into fourth, even though it's quicker through there. Too shallow into that corner. Uh, I went a bit, bit too early there. Deep in, it's better. Not quick, but it's comfy. Took a little bit of a late apex and tight exit just to see if that would have made much of a difference. It kind of did. Still not happy with the line I'm taking through there. Luckily with those curves, if you hit those curves on the apex, they don't they don't throw you out as much as a regular curve would as like a other Grand Prix layout tracks. an ideal line through there. There we go, Miko did eventually uh, get past me.
Oof. Kevin, go through. Yeah, it's going very wide and then just sort of like got his line going through, not turning too much. Right, three seconds, I think, is adequate enough to give a head. just before that 50 board but it's just very light on the brake though that look at my telemetry that's not light at all hmm a bit better, quicker on the entry speed. May have short shifted a bit too early there. A lot of curb I can use on the exit. Well, we put a lot more speed into there, but the oversteer just was not worth it. Just tried a little bit more speed as we were going quite wide. If we could turn in a bit tighter and keep that speed, it might have been a different story and it might have been a little bit quicker. And if I can find a way to get more, to, to get quicker through the exit of that corner, that's going to be the difference between me being able to defend against somebody and possibly pass somebody to the other end of the spectrum where it's someone's better than me at that corner so they end up passing me or putting me in serious trouble on the following right hander so turn four is one we definitely need to work on as well as this one i shouldn't be going into third for it sort of aim towards the corner there for some reason. I don't know why I do that to that corner. I'm losing as much speed there, so... Just practice. That's that's all that corner needs. Just practice. Practice at a wider line in. Ah! Hey, farm. Don't mind me. Just cutting the grass. <laughs> yeah, lurking. No problem. Lurk away. Appreciate the lux, thank you. Oh, goddamn track. Some out speed in, exit was okay. Let's get uh, through this corner a little bit tighter. Sh probably shouldn't be mounting that curb as much as I am. See a curb, I just feel like I've got to mount it.
one more lap after this, so... Great amount of speed on the entry. By the looks of it, I've somehow nailed going through that corner in third. And then I ruin it by doing that. Yep, yeah, off track. <laughs> Last lap of the session for me. Not the greatest takes it out of that corner. Here's a screaming of the tires there. That was a great exit. That was a brilliant exit. Still can't, still don't feel comfortable enough doing that in third yet. And that's going to cost me, I think, tomorrow. 100%. So the optimal has not even got into the 131s. But that's fine. Because the quickest people in here haven't even properly got, uh, they've got a little bit into the 131s, but not absolutely destroying everybody like I thought they would. Or maybe I'm just legitimately actually getting quicker. Who knows? So that'll be uh, it for my session. What we will do is we will go on board the quickest the quickest person in this session so far which would be Boschja for 131.8 I can't guarantee it will be off track free but yeah uh, thank you all so much for watching today it's been awesome having you here managed to get uh, 45 laps done which is more laps than I usually get done so thank you for all turning up and making sure that I actually get on with it. We're, there will be a video tomorrow. If you're watching this on the VOD, you can check timestamps time underneath, but please make sure you chuck a thumbs up on this video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. I'll be live back on YouTube Friday evening, but our main sources are being live at Twitch, which will be on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Now, mate, you're getting slower. But yes, check out the merch, check out the rest of the links which are underneath the channel. Take care of yourselves, most importantly, take care of each other. Thank you again for turning up, I'll see you next time. Good night.